Check, 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 one, two, check, one, two, check, check. Robert. Check, one, two, check, one, two, check, check, check. Yeah, good, good, good on the checks. Good on the checks. Good on the checks. Where's Joey D? Do we have Joey D in the house? Ladies and gentlemen, Joey D's in the house. We got Mikey B in the house. Come on, clap it up now, boys. Clap it up now, boys. Big one, big one today. Big Big one today. Big one today. Why is it a big one today, Joey D? I don't know. Why is it a big one today, Joseph? I don't know. You guys are saying it's a big one today. I don't know why is it a big one. What's going because on? Because every episode of the Brownly Dumb Show is a big episode. So let's give another nice warm of applause here, ladies and gentlemen. We're happy to be here. We're ready to rock and roll. Joey D, talk to me. How are you today? I'm a little tired, but are I'm you tired? here. I'm I'm on time. Well, I'm tired. That's because some you mug you got there, Bob. Whoa. What is that, a polar bear? I'm yeah, sorry, just... Joe, but that polar bear Christmas mug to spun me for a loop there. That's yeah. a special mug. Yeah, this is part of the Featherston family, which I'm staying Yeah, that's with a nice mug. Yeah, it's beautiful oh, house. Boy. It really is. The Featherston. You know, uh... The funny thing about coffee mugs is that you know some people have these like ultra decorative mugs, like like, and I just never. I have some of them myself, and I just find myself never using them. They're too cumbersome to deal with, whether it's to handle them, to clean them. <laughs> It's just something yeah. that, you know what I mean? I just always opt for a simple, regular mug. No See, matter I what. would actually, I would know, no one you might get, I actually would think that you're the other way around. I would think you're more of a crazy as mug. He, as he, as he, 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 he this is a fucking mug. This is a, this is a, wait, 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 Before you this pretzel guy, it, man. all this is is a normal mug with a picture on it. It's a normal mug. Oh my God, It's It's as normal. Now Bob's, Bob's mug has like a This guy, man. In fucking the same breath as he's stating how cumbersome it is to wash. This is a regular mug. This is a regular <laughs> mug, Joe. It just has a picture on it. Are you fucking blind? Again, go to the optometrist. Get your fucking eyes checked. This is, is a normal what is, mug. What does the it's mug a say? Mug. What, but, but you made it out like it was such a Because I'm talking mug. about clearly... these mugs. I'm talking about these mugs that are not cookie cutter shaped mugs. I'm talking about mugs like that polar bear. Hold that back up, Bob. Hold sure. that mug back up. See the ears on that thing? Like, yeah, how, it's, that's it's ridiculous. Be, the little nose that shoots no, out, I, like to wash that. Yeah, that's all I was saying. The shape, not necessarily what's on the mug itself. Everyone's got a mug that says, you know, whatever it says on it. That's fine. And, I don't mind that. It's the shape of the mug. The shape. You know, too, all right. It's, it's, it's tough. First of all, they probably paid premium for the mug. I and agree. not that's only high that. high level ceramic right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One, one can make yes. that claim, Joey. Yes. One can make that. And the thing is, too, when you go to store the mug, it doesn't all fit. Like you can't line it all. That's up. my point. That's yeah, my that's point. Annoying. You put it in the shelf, and those little ears are pushing the other mugs out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, that reminds me of the Coca Cola bear at Christmas. Yes. That's right. Yes. That's right. That's what it He's reminds on, me of. Yep. So feathers, that's a good, I'm staying that's a good at. Feeling. I'm staying at Showtime anytime Featherston's house, and his dad's very old school, like you know. America blue collar type of guy and I gave him a have a day hat and I woke up this morning and I come up and I didn't even see him in the living room and all of a sudden he goes Bangladesh huh and it scared the shit out of me he's like the hat your hats are made in Bangladesh how come you don't make the USA and I'm looking at him and I had nothing we got, very, we got very, some concerning very, very audio, audio going on here. No, come on. Come on. Yeah. It's a really oh. good story. I, I have to believe that this is on, Joe. It's got to be on purpose <laughs> at this point. It has to be. I mean, listen, when I travel, I make sure I, I'm I'm equipped with the the you know the equipment that I need in order to run a successful podcast. You know, which is, I which is what the guy the guy spent more time making sure he had a Christmas mug. Then making sure that the audio on the on the headphones or the mic that he is working clearly and audible, you know, it's just it's just the tale as old as time, Mikey. It's kind of sad, you know. It, Bob, point. it might be those headphones. I don't know. Something is chopping your your audio out. Oh, it's I, choppy, I, all right. Let me tell you, it's choppy. It's like it's the waters. Ch- it's like the waters of Nova Scotia when the salmon, <laughs> when the salmon are running. It's 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 as choppy as Bangladesh. Go really. back to the wired headphones. Bob. Go back to the wired. Then you never gotta worry. Let's go to the wired. Are you getting the wired? Is that what's I don't happening? Know what's going yeah. on here? Are we back? I can hear, yeah, I can hear you yeah, a lot better that, now. That is better. Yeah, look, that is look, better. Then you know what? I'm gonna stay with this. Then fuck the AirPods. That's a lot better, honestly. Is it really? 
Yeah. You know, the funny thing is, is that's the best audio I've ever heard out of Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the guy's got a, who knows how much of a setup he's got at the home base the studio, with that home Joe. studio. It's, it's, it's the yeah. best audio I've heard. It's just straight from the, the way laptop. Bob, the way Bob hyped that studio up, you would have thought Dr. Dre <laughs> would be recording the next episode. <laughs> Volume three from that studio, the way he was hyping it up. You thought DJ Khaled would have popped out of the closet. Ice Cube, Ice Cube on the ones and twos. <laughs> oh, hot start, hot start. Um, I, look, I, I, I think it's safe to say, um, studio was a flop. The studio was yeah. a oh, yeah. 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 Flop. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it really was. So, the bottom line is the the. The thought and the effort, I think you could say, was there. Yes. Yeah, the thought, the, 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 sen the sentiment was there. The what's sentiment that? was there. The sentiment. Yeah. The sentiment was there. Now, I'll tell you what's interesting is the guy you set it up, he still hasn't charged me. Well, yeah. Well, he might and never because, I mean, it, it was kind of a botch job. I'm saying it, it was absolutely, the studio was a flop. What more do you want from me? No, listen, I think we appreciate the fact that you went out of your way to try to do something in, 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 in the hopes of improving the caliber and quality of what is already a very successful borgening podcast. Yeah. That being said, it was a total flop. And and and, and flop. we're we're I'm owning the you flop. Know, I'm owning the flop. I'm I, but I, I'm saying in 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 lieu of the flop. You you should be weary of what the charges that this young in man, this individual, will be providing you with, because I don't think you should be charged much. Noting the you know the overall quality that we are receiving week in week out. See what's the right price for that studio? <laughs> I couldn't put a number on it. Come on, obviously. <laughs> what, I mean, what is so obviously? You know, he's not he's not charging you for. I mean, you're supplying the accoutrement, the the the, the you know all the devi the devices. You're just the bells supplying, and whistles. He yeah, like you're not those, like all the decorations, I think that's it. all that stuff. Like, what did he actually do? Really? I tell you what, you ain't paying for manual labor because that that no, that, that no, was not fair. No, no, he worked hard. Look that. Do you know how much of a pain in the, uh, um, in the ass it was to set up that golden tea? That took a long time. That, the golden tea has long. nothing to do with the podcast. No, what, did you have to plug it in? What did he have to plug it in? <laughs> it's from Walmart. You said it was no, from Walmart. No, Mikey, Mikey, I'm telling you, it, it, it's a whole... <laughs> That's a that's a that's a bitch to set up. I mean, that's a big. He's got to take a drill. He's got to. I mean, no, it's a look. We're not building Bear Stadium in our backyard. <laughs> to get you off for the past two years. But the bottom line is, it takes a little bit to set weeks. that up. Another pretzel that job. Might, two weeks. The construction going. They on. broke ground. They broke ground last week, Bob. Last they week they started. <laughs> they broke ground. They broke ground. They broke ground. <laughs> they broke. They broke ground. Yeah. They had yeah, to break. They, they literally had to break job. ground. I got excavators back there. I got yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, ridiculous thing to say. Broke, broke ground, ground is a new broke statement to last me. week. That's so sick. He's okay. so he's the sickest amongst us all. The smartest. I think you're the smartest. I think you're also the sickest. I don't. I, I'm just saying exactly what it is. Bob, the, I appreciate and, that. And to be honest, I think the the studio was was a Mitchell Trubisky esque <laughs> flop. Bob. It was it was like Trubisky. I'm sorry, I have to say that it's a flop. A lot of hope. You know, it started off nice. It was looking really good, just like Trubisky first year. We're going to the playoffs, best record in the win the NFC North, and then all of a sudden. Can I go down? Swan dive. Hey, Joey yeah. D, I'm gonna take a low blow here. I'm gonna take a low blow. Oh at me? <laughs> take a low at me? Wow. Oh at I'm ready for it. I'm ready. I'm ready. We heard back from Wendy's. Oh. You want to call corny? How corny, how corny <laughs> is that? How corny is that? Did you reach out to Wendy's? Did you, Robbie Bird, Instagram superstar, media soup? Did you have a call? Put, why didn't you put a call into to Wendy's? You got a lot of like To be honest, I'd like the podcast to be sponsored by Cameo. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's black. they're taking enough vig off of Bob. They're putting their yes. kids kids through college. They could definitely insert the home studio for free. That's for sure. Yeah, we could be recording <laughs> from Cameo headquarters on a weekly basis. Probably flown out on private jet. Uh, I'm, 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 
Can't keep the podcast afloat. He's making it sound, <laughs> Joe, he's making it sound like we're we're employees with fringe benefits, full medical dental. I, I just want to say something right now. If we were regular employees for any other company, we'd be model employees for for yes. our dedication, yes. Yes. our time spent, yes. and our overall payments. But you don't think you don't think you're compensated fairly? I will proceed to the next question. No, come we'll on. I think we're in a we're in a contract here. We're in a contract here. Yeah. We've been in a contract here for, for, for well. the last two years, Mikey. Yeah, well, there's been there's been a holdout, obviously, a on the management here. side of the table. On the management <laughs> side of the table, there's been a holdout. We've come to an impasse. We're at a, I don't we're think a we stalemate. For, we're at a stalemate. I don't right think now. we asked for much either, if I'm being completely honest. You know, I union benefits, nothing. Look, I, I think I've done a really good job to this point. Oh. Of making sure. Whoa, whoa, what? Why is that crazy? You have done it. I think you have done it. You've done that, it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Before this gets pronto, before this gets pronto, you've done a great job compensating us. Uh, I was never even expecting to be compensated. Now, you know, obviously it's different story, different times. I, I, there's no argument about the compensation. I just think that the 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 the, the studio and and the production value of the no. show and the sponsorships, Bob. That's really that should be your camp has a very strong portfolio. The brilliantly dumb portfolio is a very powerful portfolio right now. It's trending portfolio. I think there's a lot of leverage that could be made. Yes, Joe. I don't continue. I will. I will. I will. I, will I think there's a. I think. Thought. I think Bob is like you know. Bob's got like the golden crowbar of leverage right now. He could pretty much <laughs> leverage anybody he wants. I think if he just throws his name in the hat there. And you know what? There's a lot of contractual loopholes to get through. There's a lot of red tape. We know this. But at the end of the day, Bob, I, I can't believe Wendy's is still being brought up. You got your biggie bag. What do you want? That's a nice bag. That tour bag. I, I personally would just like to say I'd feel much better if I got some cases of Celsius or something sent to my house once in a while. You know, that would be a nice compensation. No, Mikey, I'm spending $5 a drink, you I'm know, at the local now- store. See, that was, I'm not going to stoop. Nice purse. I won't stoop. I won't stoop oh, to well. Bob's level. I won't stoop to Bob's level. Like Wendy's is a very <laughs> low blow to me. Wendy's is a very low blow to me. But Celsius, I wasn't going to cross that line. But thanks to Joe for opening oh, that clam. It, it would have been nice to get a little watermelon yeah. case of Celsius. Yeah. Something, a little something. It had me hyped up for each podcast. Yeah. I'd be yeah. ready. I mean, the show yeah. is sponsored by it. Bob's He's not happy. Throwing right my now. address. Not you know, give me. I'm Look spending it. plenty yeah. a week on the Celsius, and we're sponsored by them. First It'd be off, nice to get a free Celsius show, once in a while. The show's not the show's not brought to you by Celsius. Celsius is long gone. Celsius is long. Well, gone. When did this happen? Months ago. Months. Well, ago. that's not good. We're I was we're going to say I, I, I haven't I seen a Celsius. We're I, and clawing to keep the show afloat. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Brilliant Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by our good friends over at Better Help dot com life doesn't always go the way you want to and it doesn't come with the user manual so when it's not working for you it's normal to feel stuck that's why betterhelp.com is here betterhelp.com matches you with a licensed therapist they have matched over three million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available a hundred percent online plus it's affordable and you don't have to go to a doctor's office or go to some type of building you could do it all from the comfort of your new home of your home you can't go wrong when you go with betterhelp.com learn more and save 10 percent off your first month at betterhelp.com slash bds that's betterhelp h-e-l-p.com slash bds betterhelp.com change your life today for the better bob you might want to hold on to that polar bear mug on the side of the road in <laughs> jupiter florida with a big sign sponsor the brilliantly dumb show please you're just gonna see it with the bells like the salvation army at christmas you're just gonna be really, <laughs> brilliantly dumb show on the sign just ringing bells with a cup out any donations will be accepted <laughs> the shitty morning, podcasts the real morning, shitty podcasts. morning pods are great man they really are the they're not the best, is not they're not the best. this is a hot Dang. start this is a hot start I'll tell you this. In all seriousness, go ahead. I think, it, in all seriousness, you guys are model people to have on your roster. I mean, just, oh. just well, well, let me go. Let me go. I'm giving you a compliment. Uh, you guys really are. You guys are model. I mean, you're there. You show up. There's not many questions. I mean, it's just let's just go. Let's get down to business. Um, and 
I think it's been terrific. In all, all jokes aside, I think it's been terrific. Mikey V's got a big announcement coming up. I don't know if he's going to give that announcement now, but eventually he's going to give that announcement. I think there's a lot of good things happening for us. And I do think you guys are are very easy. I think we got a really great system going on here. Oh, and it's I, a good system. It's a good I system. I think everybody is very there's no There's no doubt we, sh- we show up, but we don't show up. We bring the heat. We bring the action. So week in, week out. I'm just saying, Bob. The heat. I'm giving you the heat. Once more, I'm giving no, you. I know it's not. It's not. No, Bob, you said we show up and we're here. I, I, I like to think I do more than just punch my old card before I clock in. Mikey, and you know, that, Mikey, was that what I was saying? Why was do I? Ha- why am I being brought into? To you're part of the program. You're part of the podcast. I understand yeah. that, but he's saying something directly to you. You can retort him. That's fine. He's well, saying, I I, "Well, it that's involves you, Mike. That's how Joe feels. It involves you. Would you not? Would you disagree with my statement?" What was the statement again? Can you the give statement is that we don't just show up, that we bring the heat. Oh, oh I, I think that's, that, I don't, so not. that's, but yeah, I'm, I don't, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm paying my respects, but it's not enough. Oh. I'm no, paying. it is enough. It's, it's, it's appreciated. I appreciate it. I appreciate a can it. of Celsius would be nice, but I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> I will say as much as I want to bash him right now, Joey D when it comes to contracts and stuff, Joey D is probably one of the easiest. Believe it or not, you would think that he's one of the most, you know, down the line, point for point. No, um, I don't. I don't hey, now the other gentleman in here is hey, not so easy. Oh, <laughs> hey, I just hey. think two things. I think Joe what is just very easy. And, you and have a contract gonna... send. You're like going through it with the freaking oh, the magnifying right. glass. I'm not looking regular. to get banged. I got kids <laughs> to protect. It is. I got don't kids to protect. Kids guys. Into it. Don't why not? Kids into why it. not? Because of course we agree with you, <laughs> and it really, oh. it's not fair to us because like we don't care about the kids. We care about the kids. Don't bring the kids into. Let's it. talk about Why something you? relative to everybody, right? Here now. we go. We have to talk about it. We sure. have to talk about it, Joe. The aliens—they're here. That's yeah. preposterous. The guy—you heard it directly from the horse's mouth. What do you think they got that guy from? It's all over BBC. It's all over, over the real news. The aliens have been here just... since Mel Gibson did the signs, apparently. And you know what? I haven't seen a, I haven't seen a fucking, uh, not even a saucer well, in and, and here, that's, and that's my take on this whole thing because I think it is, it's a very, very hot topic right now. Uh, I think there's a lot of things burying it in the news that they're distracting you with a little bit. But I'll say this: this guy who went out in on that congressional hearing and had to give his full statement, former uh, intelligence uh, department member. He said that, yes, they recovered ships that are not of this world. They've recovered biological samples and bodies not of this world under oath in a congressional hearing. It made all major credible news outlets. Here's my thing. On the flip side of it, I I would have to be an idiot, an ignoramus to believe that we are the only existing beings in this universe because the universe, if you've ever read about it, is more vast than what we even know. Like yes. People think there's nine planets. Whatever. It goes well beyond that. This is just what we are able to see from our Hubble telescope and from what our astronomers have told us. But every astronomer will tell you it's vast, vast, vast. I would be an ignorant idiot to believe that we're the only living organisms in this universe. I have to. Yeah, there's some but floating the amoeba side. somewhere in the sky. I, there's so. got to be bigger than that, Joe. There has to but be. My but my problem on the flip is why side, don't... that's on. on the flip side. My flip side is nowadays everybody and their mother has one of these. It's a 4K camera in their pocket. Everyone has the internet. Mike, How what? in the sorry. world can there what? not sorry, be some? Sorry, sorry. What's your what's your what's your what was your phone cover? That's Arnold Schwarzenegger from Command. <laughs> it's Arnold Schwarzenegger from Command. I mean, it's a great, it's a great <laughs> movie. That is, look, the I'm a big, Ar- I'm a big, I'm a big, I'm a big Arnold guy, Bob. I mean, big Arnold guy. Come on. All right. Anyway, back. Can we get back to the subject? Stop trying. Um, you're just like you're just like the government. You're just like the government. You're trying to. Do you work for the government? The government. Do you work for the government? Are you that trying to divert the right. conversation? Yeah. Don't you think that that's a see? This is I, Bob's, Bob's, Bob's part of the Illuminati. Illuminati. Government. Bob is confirmed the <laughs> Illuminati. He's trying to change an important topic subject. I'm, I'm He's trying to change it. He's trying to flip it. Here's what my beef is. Here's what my beef is, and Joe's going to agree with it because I know this is what he's going to say, is everyone and their mother has the internet access, these 4K cameras right in their hand. How in the world do we not have some type of video or photographical 
finite proof of of aliens or spaceships like we've seen some grainy videos we've seen but like finite there's got to be some asshole that's interacted has a video and we haven't seen it and is it that the government really has a system where they're able to monitor and wipe off the internet that quickly 24 hours a day seven days a week that's That's my question that's why i don't believe that that it's true i'm very anti yeah, I, I just, I don't. So you believe that we're the only Mexico. living organisms in this universe? No, no. You I can't. Just, Bob with, does. With, I think Bob does. <laughs> yeah, you know what I do? Bob's intelligence in terms of like creativeness and, and awareness of what extends outside of the room Los yeah. Angeles, Jupiter, and Vito is, is very yeah. limited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> been to Europe. Been to Europe. You have. Yeah. You're going again. I was like fish out of water. You know, he didn't know what was going on. I'm glad I was there to help yeah. him. He liked the Lord, gelato. I left him by himself for one day in Italy. Okay, one day in Italy, he was by himself, and he got in a fight with an old guy inside oh, of in the spa, sauna. Yeah, in yeah, the yeah, sauna yeah. Yeah, at the great. gym, and that he looked great. at the old guy who didn't speak a lick of English, and he pointed at him and he said, "You're out of line." I, I don't know what you're Bob. Out. <laughs> you're I don't out know. Of line. I would <laughs> almost say it would be as in- entertaining to strap a GoPro on Bob and put him in a remote country, in a foreign country, and see him try to figure his way out. It would be like putting, I don't know, uh, uh, it'd be like putting a goldfish inside of a freaking den. I mean, Bob went to like the sticks of Alabama to like a, a sports bar and ordered a Negroni. And he was like, this is terrible. I can't believe how awful this is. This is terrible. But so, all right. So on the alien belief scale, so me and Joe are believers in, for the record, for the Wait, record. Joe, I, thought here, you're, I thought you're not a believer. No, Joe's a believer in aliens. Let him answer. Just, Let him answer. Are you a believer or not a believer, Joe? Uh, so here's my take. Okay, I I I believe that there is, I don't know if you want to call it extraterrestrial beings yes. Yes. or what. There's got to be. We are yes. in the Milky Way is the one galaxy that we're confined to, and there <laughs> it is. It is within a um what uh, Joey that, Joe, Joey Leo Galileo's yeah, it's, it's, Galileo I'm saying is that we are, no, I love it I love it I love there's it there's vast amount of galaxies we haven't even discovered so Correct. to Mikey's point I would say you know who are we to think that us as a primitive being is the only thing that exists within the realm of the universe I would make a statement that I would concur with that that being said Why the fuck in New Mexico or somewhere have we not seen anything? And here's the other point, which people have failed to to, to address for years. Why the fuck if you go within a a 100 or 200 meter radius of Area 51, they'll shoot you on sight. The government is the real problem. And you know I don't disagree. Now, I I don't don't understand when somebody I, I don't disagree. When somebody comes out and says that they've seen stuff, why can't we see it then? Why Correct. can't we be directed Correct. to what is being seen? I don't Correct. understand. What are we, just a bunch of guinea pigs running around, not aware of what's happening in the world? Are they afraid of why, anarchy that's and why panic? I don't believe in it. I, I just think we would have seen something by now with everything that we have. I just think we would have seen something by okay, now. Okay, so for where... the record, me and Joe say we are not alone. Bob is saying we are alone. Is that correct? <laughs> is that correct? <laughs> Bob's yeah. a lone warrior. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. No, good I, for I you just, to take a stand, though. I, look, I think we would have seen something. Maybe I'm wrong, but just more it's the so wrong stand. Right, but it's a good the aliens stand. go. I'm anti-alien. I, I just, I, I don't You're think anti-alien. <laughs> I hope, I hope, I hope that for for our sake, if they're ever watching the podcast, they miss this episode. I was gonna say, if we somehow lose a thousand subscribers overnight, we know why. And we know we're not alone. We've confirmed it. We've confirmed it. If we lose like a thousand subscribers. Gentlemen, it'll be um, it'll be 999 aliens and Wendy's. Let's yeah. um, <laughs> yeah. Joe, this guy cracks himself up. He, really, he does. It's the best. He, he really does. He really, really does. <laughs> so um, good. Fellas, should we go and do our buy yourself segment here? Um sure. this morning. Sure. Um, Mike V, why don't you start us off? I got a good one that I've been thinking about for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm gonna say it's gym related. And it's for people that go to the gym and they they haven't showered yet. Or, 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 let me clarify, that they're naturally not the best smelling person. If you know that you're not naturally the best smelling person when you wake up in the morning, 
like to me, as soon as I wake up, I have to take a shower. It's just like an instinctual kind of, I wake up, I shower. That's how I start my day. I have to shower. Otherwise, even if I know I'm going to the gym, I have to shower and then I'll shower after. It's not a big deal. That's just what I do. I like to shower after the gym. I, uh, me too, Joe, but I'm just saying there are people that go to the gym and let me tell you, I was on the treadmill the other day and this guy came next to me, man. And there's open, first of all, there's open treadmills. That's a big pet peeve of mine. If there's cardio equipment, you out of courtesy, you have to separate an empty one. That's I would agree. I would agree. It's the same as urinals. Yes, you right. Perfect. Perfect analogy. You always go every other, or if there, if there's three open, I would go total polar opposite end farthest away from you as possible i don't want to smell you hear you be disturbed by you and vice versa these people you, you gotta do a smell check before you go to the gym you gotta do a smell check underarms real quick deodorant like i swear there's people that go to the gym that just don't believe in deodorant and i'm sorry that's not a belief that you could deodorant is to. A if you're necessity. a part of modern society you can't subscribe to that belief i'm sorry you can't maybe if you live on a farm and you never see anybody in montana that's fine but if you're going to a crowded metropolitan area gym you have to be cognizant of the way you smell and the way you present yourself slightly you you just have to cuz i was ready to vomit next to this guy it's and this oh. is not the first time this don't, has happened it's terrible he was ripe he was ripe and he just got started so, I mean, luckily I was coming off. I can't imagine a half hour in what this guy would have smelled like. It would have been like a sewer. I think people <laughs> have an idea. You you know if you are having a bad smelling day. Like, you know I you agree. smell good to where you you have to have some sort of idea to where it's not like you just don't know. You have an idea of when you you smell bad. Oh, yeah. You ever do a smell check breath, where you go like this? Breath, and you just... underarms. And yeah, I mean, really, it's, you the, know, it's, listen, the, it's the was, body odor. The body was, odor hits a lot different. The body odor is terrible. I go to the gym first thing in the morning, so I typically don't shower before the gym, but I apply deodorant, some kind of baby powder. Yes. I brush my teeth. You got to brush your teeth. Because I like like to shower directly after I go to the gym. So for me, when I'm going to the gym first thing in the morning, it doesn't really make sense for me to shower, go to the gym, shower within the first two hours of my day. If I'm doing like today, I'm home from work, right? I'm going to shower before I go because I have time. If I'm doing a 5 a.m. wake up going to the gym yes. like normal, yeah, that's what I'm I'll saying. just go. But I will do the deodorant application, the teeth brushing, and a gargle. A teeth brush and a gargle because all the I mean, it doesn't hurt to put some mouthwash from time to time. Right. A little you gargle, like a little you, like you floss. Yeah, I, I, but I'm a flosser. I have the floss picks. I use the floss picks all yeah. day. I just keep them in my office drawer. I keep them in my car. That's what I do. All how, often, how often are you flossing? No, oh, I couldn't give you a time count. I'm flossing. Is it, a, is it an everyday? Are you an everyday? Floss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's more like it's just like a habit sitting there. Right, kind of. right. When they invented those flossers, they did people a lot of favors because nobody wants to sit there, cut the circulation off to their fingertips, reaching into the back with the floss. I right, feel like that's dead. why. Right. Those days are dead. That's why a lot of people weren't flossing. The flossers are so easy. It's like having a toothpick. You're just sitting there. You could do it. I, I got to be know? honest. I don't floss. You don't floss. I, I have to start now because I got I got shit from the dentist. But I brush my teeth two, three times. A, well, three times dentists, a day. Normally. Dentists are brutal with their honesty about the gums. They're yeah, brutal. They, gums. They, yeah. they don't fucking hold back, man. I got no, the fucking. Uh, I, I got you know uh, uh, just an absolute threshold of 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 just a litany of how I need to to floss better. And I, I, that's fine. I started flossing, but it's just it's like you know. You're sitting there for like how long? You got to be sitting in there ten minutes doing every crevasse. Oh, tell you, Joe, Joe, get Joe. those get those gum flosser picks. And when you're sitting on the couch doing nothing, watching a game, that's the time. That's the you perfect know what, Joe? Time. But isn't that gauche to be flossing in the in the living room next on the table? That yeah, probably are... it probably is. I just don't care. But you it know, probably what? Is. <laughs> probably, I, but I don't have a cave is. like you, Mikey V. I yeah, think the cave you're gonna is, end the up. Cave is good. I think you're gonna end up enjoying. Flossing, because what I yes. notice with the flossing, and I don't do it every day where I should do more. You do find that you get things in there that you yeah. can never well, get. You ever get a big paper. chunk? What's that? You ever get a big chunk? Oh yeah, sure. I don't know about the big chunks. Sometimes after a particular meal, but you do get like you do get like some like calcium, like a little hard calcium buildup if you're really in. You there know what? You know what? Sometimes spots, I, 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 nice. I, you know what I got the other day with the floss? I got a little corn husk that got stuck up in there. Yeah, like, corn you corn know, corn. like. Corn, you, you know, like the little corn if skin. Top, if we did top corn five skin foods is that a, get stuck in your teeth, corn, corn would be skin. like number one. Did you, corn did would you probably ever notice one. with that, but also too, you ever eat corn, Joey D, and, and you shit out the corn? If yeah, because it doesn't corn, digest. 
It doesn't digest. Yeah. No, no, Mikey, I'm telling you. Mikey, do you <laughs> Bob, I, 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 Bob, I, I shit out corn. I know the, 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 the corn shit though? thing. I mean, that's, why they call really. it, that's why they call it a niblet. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like another, <laughs> another, guy, another one great of the joke. sickest. He's one of the yeah, corn, ones. corn, yeah, corn is corn's tough, bro. Why corn's is tough. that? It doesn't, like Joe doesn't said, the skin, that skin on the kernels doesn't break down. It'll it just go digest. through the lining of your yeah. intestine. Yeah, it's nasty. It's amazing, man. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, sure. All right. Um, so that it's stinky gym goers. You got to be more cognizant. You have to be. Yeah. 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 But that's I will say tough. that was that. That's yeah. Okay. Um. All right. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to sell as well. I was on the beach the other day and I think it's the most overrated thing in the world. I think it looks cool from the beach when you're looking at it and watching people do it. It's like, it looks kind of glamorous. I think that parasailing is one of the most overrated, ridiculous, <laughs> biggest sell. You get up there and I there's thought he was going in you, another direction and I was getting very nervous. What, what direction? <laughs> what direction? I thought you, you, you were going to go? sell surf. I thought you were going to sell surfing and I was about to pull the plug on the bottom. No, no, I respect. Look, I look at the surfing. Okay, good. Like, Damn, good. I, I, I wish I could do that too. And it, it, it looks like a really tough thing to do. Just that it I is never, very I tough. Could, I could never do that. The parasailing, it just, um, people make so much money off of it and it seems good and it looks cool from the beach. And I've done it before, but you get up there and there's nothing to do. I mean, you just, you're just sitting there. It's like, it's more of like a sightseeing type of situation but isn't that the purpose of it what do you think you see what the water but what do you think you're gonna what did you think you were gonna be doing when you decided to go up there what do you think you're gonna play a game of tiddlywinks when you're bob hates bob hates heights so it's it's not for him i don't don't, yeah i don't particularly like but i remember going up there and thinking that it'd be kind of like um You've it's done like it. Ride like you move. It, the wind yeah. kind of takes you around a little bit, and it's almost like a. It's really not. I mean, you just sit there, you look down at the water, and that that's really all there is. And and a lot of these companies make a fortune off of it. I'm I'm selling parasailing. I Fair don't enough. think that's such it's a crazy, just sell. An incredible sell. Do you? No, no. I mean, it's sell. not <laughs> something I was ever expecting. I can tell you that. When you started with, I was at the beach the other day, I was thinking a thousand different things other than parasail. Yeah, no, I'm not selling surfing. I, I respect the hell out of what. Okay. It is one of the hard, surfing is one of the hardest things ever. I, I, I went surfing years ago at Surfer's Paradise and I could barely get on the fucking surfboard. Oh, I tried to, I tried to paddleboard on my honeymoon. I stood up like eight times. I was like, yeah, I'm too big for this shit. I, can't. They finally, I, I, I they fell took, off every time. They finally took a picture of me like getting up on the wave and I'm in such shallow water. The wave's like three feet high, and I'm hanging on like I'm doing a hang ten, except because it's a hang three because the wave is so small. And I was that was the only time I could ride. Like you're in a hot thing. tub. Sir. No, yeah. Remember, <laughs> yeah, remember, uh, remember when uh, we were supposed to go uh, on the electric surfboard with Rob Lowe? Yes. And Rob Lowe was, never showed what? up. And yeah, yeah true wait, story. wait, 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 yeah, wait. We got true, sold. True we got sold. We got so I'm a, I'm a fabricated. Huge, I'm a lie. huge Rob Lowe guy. We were. I, I love Rob Lowe. It's one of my favorites ever. I love Rob Lowe. Obviously, you guys have had some trouble with Rob Lowe. I well, love Rob. Well, well, this we was signed up for Rob Lowe. We got his son, who thought he was the SS Skipper oh, of the no, don't of the this. Seven don't Seas. Do no, don't do this, Joe. He was like, "Oh yeah, I like to go sail. I like I like to I like to go sailing oh, no, and ride do boats." This. Don't do this. What do you mean? Don't, don't do this. Don't do you think this. Rob Lowe's checking in to watch our podcast? No, he couldn't busy. even show busy. up to a. To he's a busy. freaking thing he was assigned to. He busy went to pushing Atkins and you know, bars. You know where he went? He went to Arnold Schwarzenegger's house. We got left to dry true, in, the, freaking, in the shores of Santa Barbara. And this guy was having fucking lunch with the governor. That's a fair <laughs> opt-out, Joe. That's a fair opt-out, though, is it not? Come on, though, man. I don't like when people people tell you they're going to do something. Well, that's, and they that's, bail that's true. That's last true. second. They yeah, pull the true. plug and they yeah. don't have the common courtesy to tell you until we show up. And we're waiting for this guy to walk down the dock, down the marina side, and the instead dock. I get his. <laughs> instead, we get his son. Ah, <laughs> the dock. <laughs> oh, that was great. I, I can't. I know that. Yet, I did Bob. not have. I did we not drove, have. We drove an hour and forty-five minutes out to Santa Barbara to ride hoverboard surfboards, because in the, in the hopes of meeting Rob Lowe, and this guy showed up <laughs> and gave us his second son, and oh. was having lunch at Governor's the hopes house. Of meeting Rob Lowe, I never thought I did not have Rob Lowe taking strays on my Monday morning bingo card. <laughs> well, tonight, you know what? Back I did not. Has it back out. then, we would have. Back then, we would have taken anything because we were really just starting. Hey, out. listen, Rob Lowe, in my opinion, is an A-list guy. No, he is uh-huh. not. Uh-huh. Here we go. This listen. was 
This was that is not true. He's not before, an A-list. He wasn't the eighties. Oh yeah, in the eighties. But that's my point. This guy's been resting on, on his laurels on. for set twenty the, years. Let's set the hold on, Joey D. Hold on. <laughs> there was a big, big thing in our group chat, Mikey, you know, with with our friends in LA. So before we even met Rob Lowe, Cutsy had it out for him because one of our friends claims that he was <laughs> Showtime claims that he's absolutely an A-list actor and Cutsy doesn't feel that that was right. And no, they I, I to, agree with Showtime. It was, they used to go at it about okay. this. So it's a very, very touchy subject for him. Okay. With that being said, Joe, why do you feel that Rob Lowe is not an A-list actor? He's not an A-lister. Maybe, maybe 20. Mikey V just said in the 80s, he was prominent. Was I consider prominent. A-listers Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio. Those are A-listers. I think those Bob are like those are fit. above A-list. Those are like what, legendary what actors. Above A-list. They're in the like the legends tier. There's like the legends tier to me, and then A-list. Rob Lowe, listen, you got Wayne's World. You got uh, I would say Will Smith is an A-lister. I would sure. because here's here's my point. Rob Lowe was a TV, and I'm not taking credit away from Rob Lowe. He's made more money than I'll ever make in my whole life. Good for him. Oh, good Why did you know that, Joey movies. Day? You don't know Saint that. Elmo, St. Elmo. Elmo's Fire. Uh, and Austin, I will also Austin say, Powers, I will Austin also Powers. give credit where credit's due. He's a good-looking guy. And for, for his age, he's done, I don't know, he's got to be on some kind of treatments or something. But he looks great for his he's age. He's on the Atkins diet. That's bullshit. He's not on the Atkins diet. He's having Botox and who knows what got, else. I do think he's had a lot of Botox. Oh, the Botox, the skins. It looks like a, 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 like a Ziploc bag's been pulled over. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. I'm, 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 so I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm not making an enemy. I just said he looks good for his Oh, yeah, you're making a happen. friend, Joe. You're making a friend. You guys well, you know what? He didn't make a friend when he bailed on us when we drove almost two hours to go on surfboards. And that I couldn't even get on. Couldn't even get on the dock. I, look, I, I promoted it too. I, I really thought it was a was tough gonna... scene. Bob had a picture. Bob had a story of like Bob and then did like a split screen of Rob Lowe next to him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and halfway through when we showed up, Bob had to take the story down. And people were like, where's Rob Lowe? And we're like, oh, there's only one Rob here and it ain't Lowe. <laughs> It was, it was so a tough. Bad. Bob was really upset. It was. A tough why would you ever put the split screen up before he you put it up before guy. we even showed up to the yeah. beach? Well, I guess he didn't think he was going to get hoodwinked. No, he got hoodwinked. I didn't. Oh, you know, we got with hoodwinked those, with those stories and stuff. <laughs> I get too excited that I, I can't. Yeah, I know. It really does. is early annals of a uh, Bob's success. We were when, just really tapping Bob, into the. When Bob gets something that he gets excited about for Paul, oh, forget about it's it. It's like I can't even put the best example is, and I hate to bring it up again, is the garage door video, but not the video, not the part where Joe's impact on the door. It's Bob looking at ticket and asking him if he has it on film. And he was so like it looked like somebody who was about to lead a unit over the hill in a war on a beach saying, Do you have it? Do you have it? You, you like his eyes. He Meanwhile, possessed. I'm my he was best friend, like the exorcist. It was incredible. incredible. By the way, there's a new exorcist coming out. I can't wait. I to saw see the it. preview. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. But no, point. but you know, you think my best friend would be more concerned that I, I am not seriously concussed or have serious brain no, damage. No, 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 no. I, Content over everything, Joe. You know, I, the, you know the, I could have been in a pool of blood. He would have been asked for the, the video. Ten oh, commandments, I the no, Ten Commandments no, I of, of, I of the really Chet, dumb Chet was the only one who was like, guys, don't laugh. Is he okay? If you <laughs> listen to the video, he's the only one who Dang says, it. guys, don't Dang laugh. It. Don't if laugh. You, is he okay? If you, could, if you could roll the clip again. Gonna hit his head. Watch your head. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, boy. I can't believe it. That is not ideal. Don't laugh, dude. I think I'm he's okay. Dude, I saw that going from a mile away. Cut, you just go in the house. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Are you filming? The oh, whole thing. The whole... You got it. 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 Are you seeing it? <laughs> you got it. No. You got it. Oh, no. my God. No. <laughs> I can't, oh, I can't believe you got it. You can't believe you got it. You do not have that. Take if you're lying, I'm going to be livid. You do not have that. Take, please tell me. Do you know that Jet has tried to make Bob swear an oath that if we get a hole in one, that he cannot release the video 
prior to the Bob Just Sports video coming out because it will literally it, it, it will ruin the whole video. And Bob has not that's agreed. Never gonna happen. That's never he's not happen. agreed to it. No, I um we've talked about it before, but I, I remember when that happened to Joey D and the whole night I couldn't sleep. It was like Christmas morning because I I Christmas Eve because I, I was so excited for yeah. the world yeah. to look at that. And I remember just giggling in my room. I remember you sending me the video and I was recording at Amazon that day. Do you remember? And you were like, you have to swear to the Christ. Subtle flex. No, 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 no. Because I remember exactly where I was. And he, go, Joe, the sick, you have to swear on everything, on your children, on everything that you will not release that. this video. I didn't anyway. say that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Something, <laughs> something did, Dom's, did Dom's name come up? He was like, know. he was like, swear on your sweet. daughter's eyes that you will not release this on video. G, said, baby. Jesus Christ, Bob, I won't release the video. Is it that crazy? Then he sent me the video and I kind of understood why he did that. I remember getting that text from Joey D at five in the morning. He was in the other room and he just said, are you fucking serious? <laughs> he, heard me, he heard me giggling from the other room. It was unbelievable. Quarter to five in the morning, the guy was up <laughs> watching the video. No Lord knows what time he was up because that was the only the time I woke up from hearing it. <laughs> he was pacing around the floors like he was ready to run the fucking triathlon. He, it I've was unbelievable. Seen, he he like that's like his like his his love language is content. It's sick. It's insane. It's really sick. Yeah. I get it. I get it. No, I love yeah, it. I'd like yeah. to do not to that degree, now. not to that degree, but I do get it. Joey Day by herself. I'm selling this week. Rob Love. And, there we go. <laughs> well, I'll leave that for next week so I can build some momentum on that. Here's what I'm selling this week. And you know, it's a shame. It is a true shame because something I have enjoyed thoroughly throughout my years. Um, and it's tainted now. It's tainted. It's ruined. It's, it's, it's watered down. Movie previews, I'm done with them. It has become to the point I'm watching Kia ads. I'm watching bullshit stuff. I'm watching, you know, Nicole Kidman sitting in the fucking theater talking and people are cheering, like talking about how the movie is an experience. Can we get to the movie? I used to go to movies. I I, I still do. I, I, know, I really enjoy going to the movies. And you'd get 10, maybe 15 minutes of previews, two or three good ones. I got now the other day... Almost 10, 15 minute preview for the new Sharknado featuring, um, what's his name? The the bald guy, the um, Jason Statham. Statham. And he's, Statham. he's riding on, it's like, you know, it, the previews, it's, it, it's become so bad to the point where now you sit in a movie theater that starts at seven o'clock and you legitimately do not see the trait, like, like the Paramount sign or whatever, come up for the real movie to start 30, 40 minutes after. Like, I just started showing up 25, 30 minutes after the time the movie started because you still get five to 10 minutes of previews. What did it's you go see? Down. Oppenheimer? I did. Yeah. And? You know, talk long. That, that movie's long, man. Three okay. hours. Okay. I, I, I did think like that I enjoyed the historical reference. Now, Bob would have Bob would have walked after 20 minutes. <laughs> he yeah. had to for a few hours. Bob would have walked. <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you a word to the wise. Anybody who thinks you're going out there to see tons of explosions and fast-paced cinema, it ain't that at all. It's very historical based. Now, that be said, it's great cinema. I thought that the acting, Robert Downey Jr. was great. Matt Damon was in it. The main character, I forget his name. Um, Killian Murphy. Yes, he was great. Emily Blunt's in it. So the movie's mm. good. But the previews, man, it just got to be better. You, there's no space for ads in a movie preview. Like we're, we're selling our souls, man. And it's just, it's, it's sad because the nostalgia, you know, you ever go to like one of those drive-in movie theaters where they have the dancing popcorn and the, yeah, and the yeah. sodas. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was fun. Why would we get away from that, Mikey V? I don't know. Star insurance. Ask them. Oh, it's a, it's a shame. Everyone's selling their soul yeah. to the devil. It's yeah, pretty sad. That was Everybody's insane. trying to make a quick buck. But meanwhile, the brilliant dumb show can't. Oh, that's, come on. That's so unnecessary. You knew, you knew. You just knew that that was coming, though. That's I knew. So, it's that was so the build up. That was hey, Mike, yeah. be better and go get Wendy's. <laughs> that was a masterful crescendo. Yeah. By, that was, by that Chef was, Joey D. That was my Bach. There's a lot of hype around the mush. I would give that Bro. a try. Bro. What is mush? Maybe we reach out to it's, them. It's overnight oats, so they don't they don't have. Uh, Bob, I already, come on, I already, I already reached out. 
<laughs> they're, they're, they're still in the pro- a, they're, they, a they have scene. No, they have no ambassador program yet. They're in the process of building it because they're relatively new. But let me tell you something. Their flavor I profile, like they sent me two big old boxes. Peanut butter and jelly, maple cinnamon. This mush stuff is legitimately I delicious. Do. I would love to go through your DMs. Oh, I, I was just thinking I that, would, Bob. The money I would pay to be granted. How after, much? How much? Are we talking 500 bucks? How long do I get? You get an hour. An hour? You give me an hour? I, I'm going to pay two job, grand. Two grand. I, I, I would pay... Two thousand dollars to go for an hour. <laughs> That's how you know this guy's making just bundles. Two grand to go through his DMs. Yeah. I'll take the two. I'll take the two grand. By the way, I would. I, we I, could I, actually arrange this. I, yeah. <laughs> has to I be in person. Be, I can't give him the password. It has to be in person. I would be so curious to to go and. Oh, oh my god, man! I, I bet I, you. Okay, Bob. What do you think, like in terms of like DMs? I guarantee Peloton's gotten a couple. No, 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 oh, no. It, no. It, it would. Be I've, I've never, done. I've never asked them. I've tagged them, and they've, they've like sent stuff to me, like, like thank you or whatever for. But I've never like been like, can I be an ambassador? I would, I would be curious just to go through the Wendy's DMs. Just, just, just. Oh, the, Wendy's D- the Wendy's DMs files. are dead. I the would... Wendy's, the, the emails are the. Well, you're telling us. Yeah. <laughs> it was just. <laughs> You know, it was um. It and, was exciting and, times. It was an exciting time. It was. It was. It was. It was peak. We were all very excited. I, I will say though, Mikey, I I commend what what you do and the way you go after these things. It's very commendable. It's not a bad thing at all. One would say that if if uh, you and I, Bob, were at at the same level of excitement and and enthusiasm and and I don't I hate pumping Mikey's tires. But this guy shares more and goes out of his way more to promote the Brill and the Dumb Show than the two of us combined. Maybe we'd have a couple more Thank things you, under our belts. I'm just saying. Like I'm just saying. I, I think if Bob rang the mush doorbell, I think they'd expedi- <laughs> I think they'd expedite the ambassador program a lot quicker. I think, they would. <laughs> I think mush. I think mush. Mush would be, would be a good, good fit. fit. Yeah. I, do, I think well, so. I don't too. even know what, what are we what, what is a mush? It's oats. It's a little cup of overnight oats for breakfast. Like you have it for breakfast on the go. You just keep them in the fridge, but they're flavor. They have incredible. What do you mean overnight? They send they it. They call it overnight. No, they call it overnight. They're very oats. big, Joe. Everybody, the people, yeah. um, they're very into the mix. I haven't had it yet, but I, I would be curious. It's yeah, delicious. it must be. Delicious. Um, okay, fellas, let's go with our top five here today. Okay. Today's top five is going to be. Top five shots. Anything you get at a bar, you go to a bar, what shot do you order? Top five shots. And um, let's start with Joey D. I think Joey D is going to have a bougie old list. No, I listen. Here, Here's my take before I begin with, with the top five shots. I, I am, for one, of the notion that I don't like to do too many, like, very sweet. When I was younger, I did. But the sugar, the sweet shots – because here's the thing, it adds up, and at the end of the day, the next day, that shit all catches up with you. So I like to keep it pretty simple, stupid when I'm doing shots now. I don't like to go, when I was younger, I'd do all these elaborate shots and stuff. Now you're going to see my list, is, it's it's not really, it's really not like sweet things, but I got one or two things, one on my honorable mention. But I'll start off, number five, Mikey B is going to resonate with this as an Italian and this is as classic a shot as you can do and sambuca? you can have some fun with it the white sambuca you can you you know you want to impress somebody you can light it on fire if you really want to go out of your way but it's a nice smooth shot you feel a deep burn it's good to put a little espresso bean on there it's 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 a classic undefeated shot um we good used to call like good call fire. on the white too because the black is the black is just un 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 it's undigestible. Um, number four, we're going to go, and I and I, I wasn't going to put this, but I've had so many of these throughout, especially, I think our list, Mikey V, might be more similar than Bob's because we grew up in a different era. The Jaeger bomb, to me, really revolutionized shot taking. I, I don't know if you ever saw that video, you know, Jaeger bombs, Jaeger bombs, Jaeger bombs. That thing was just guy went to Mon- guy went to Monmouth University right there, right down in South Jersey. Oh, really? That, video, yeah. that was the most viral video I've ever witnessed to this day. Um, and I just think, like growing up, it was just like that was we just I had had more Jaeger bombs probably than any other shot. I got to put them in, so they get the four slot. 
And number three, listen, you want to go out, you want to have fun, you want to get a little lambasted, a little drunk, go with something straight. Give me the tequila shot at three. Little lime. People like, I, I'm not a real fan of like the salt. People like to put the salt on the wrist. Give me a break. What the fuck? Are you, you don't well, need to put it's, Some people, I, it's, it's strong. It's strong for some people. You know, I like, you know, you take the shot, you take the shot immediately after strong lime wedge action. You're more than fine. But yeah, some people like to get fancy with the salt and all that. Number two, this is a shot that we started taking recently. This is a 20 minute top five. This, this, is, this is the most long, long winded top five. Joe's face. I love how he just comes in on my number two slot while I'm really just starting to cook. Oh, you're, cooking. you're cooking now, Joe. Go ahead. I think Go it's ahead. doing well. Number two. What the hell, man? This number guy. two. The nerve. Number two is a more recent shot that I've learned, and we take them all the time in the Bob Does Sports Camp. They're called green tea shots. They consist of Jameson, peach schnapps, and sour mix. And you know what? They sound sweet, but it really goes down very easy. It's It's not a hard shot to do. Give me that in the two slot. And number one, we want to talk potential sponsors. We want to talk about somebody who's knocking on the door. On three, Joey D. We One, really need a countdown. Two, three. It's fire. Fireball. And you know what? You got to do it chilled. You do it. They shake it yeah. chilled. You get the little ice crystals on top. That cinnamon sweetness that goes down. Beautiful every time. Fireball, I'm calling you out. Wow. You are the, you are the top. No, listen. I, I have dialogue with these guys. They're the Come best. on, Fireball. Come They're on, Fireball. Where are you? I showed up in an episode wearing a whole onesie Fireball. Yes. Thing. Let's yes. not forget, Fireball takes the number one slot. It's the easiest shot to do. You can do it literally anywhere. Golf course, bar, out with friends. Give me Fireball at the one slot. By the way, Mikey, we still have those those Fireball sweaters. Yes, I know. Yeah. Oh, it was a fireball. sweater, not a onesie. It was a sweater. That's right. Yeah, the Fireball sweater. Um, I got no issue. Mike V, you got any issue? None whatsoever. Okay. None whatsoever. Um, I mean, I'm, yeah, none, none whatsoever. You want me to give it a go? Sure. See, I, 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 I like the shots that don't really taste like where you kind of can't taste the liquor. So I do like more of the fun, sugary type of shots. Can't wait um, to hear I got these. a little bit of a mix. Number five, give me the kamikaze. I like Great the shot. kamikaze shot. We had That's a, a classic those, shot. Yeah. We had a few of those last night. Um, and then number four, lemon drop. I like the Great lemon shot. shots. I got no that's idea so sweet, drop. though. You do more than one of those, Bob. You, you I know, but that's what I like. I like it to where you can't really taste it. and then you Those are back-to-back really good summertime shots when you're outside when it's really yeah. hot. Those Thank are nice. Those are um, nice. Number three, the tequila shot. Straight up tequila shot. I My hangovers from tequila, I don't get bad hangovers. Compared to other stuff, tequila is my go-to. Tequila is my number one, giving me with the lime. Um, number two, I got Fireball. Um, straight up, no chaser needed. Um, it's spectacular. It really is. Even like when we did the Fireball Challenge, they go, I mean, to get you banged up, but they go down better than anything. I mean, like Easy. even if I think like vodka shots or whatever, like those, it, it wears on you. The Fireball just, it, it goes down smooth. Shout out Fireball. Number one, green tea shots. That That's it's new in my world, and I, I am all in on the green tea shots. Um, that's what I got. Any issues, Joey D? I mean, you and I have a similar list for the most part. Three out, three out of five are similar. Mikey V? I got no issue with it whatsoever. Let's let it rip. All right, number five, very, very simple, very straight to the point. I'm kind of in the Joe camp where, like, I really – some I have a couple that are like you know a little on the sweeter side, but for the most part, like I don't enjoy doing shots really anymore. So if I do, like just get to the point already, like I'm ready to go. Number five, give me Jameson. I'll do a shot of Jameson. I love rounds of Jameson. Uh, that's like my like a go to. Like if I'm at the bar, a beer and a shot, just give me a Jameson shot. Number five, number four, Irish Car Bomb. Irish Car Bomb is Kahlua. Uh, uh, excuse me, like a Bailey's Irish Cream and whiskey. Dropped into a pint of Guinness and chug it back. That I love a good, good Irish car bomb. It's very good. It's very good. It's creamy. Again, you can only have like one because it's heavy, but very good. Number very three, heavy. I got the Mind Eraser. Mind Eraser is a classic shot. That's vodka, Kahlua, and club soda. Vodka, Kahlua, club soda. If you've never had one, order a Mind Eraser. Bob, you would probably like it because you don't taste alcohol really. Sounds you don't want to shoot it back. It's very quick. Two, green tea. I love green tea. Green tea is, as, as you guys both said, and if no one's ever had it, 
it sounds like it's crazy because there's Jameson in it. It's not, you don't taste anything exactly. whatsoever. And then number one, I have chilled tequila. I just think a chilled tequila shot with the lime on the side, if you want it, uh, if it's decent tequila, I don't think it's even necessary. If it's very ice cold, shoot back the tequila. Again, you're getting right to business, right to business. And then I'll give my honorable uh, lemon drop. I had it honorable. I actually, no, I'm pivoting off that screwball whiskey as my honorable mention. I don't oh, know that's if you've pretty ever good. Had screwball. It's peanut, peanut butter, butter, peanut butter flavored whiskey. It's fucking delicious if you've never had it, but not a lot of places have it. Screwball whiskey, delicious. Joey D, honorable mention. Uh, this goes against my my normal camp with the sweetness, but I, I'll go mudslide at my number five because once in a while, when you're out with friends, um, or you know, in a, in a in a hot environment, or or just outside or whatever, it's nice to drink. It's it's, now, it's a good shot. I would I can get on board with that. We were having those. What what is in a mudslide though? I wrote it down here. Uh, mudslides is Kahlua, Bailey's, and vodka. And some places they'll do like a, a almost like a and like almost like a frappe one where it's kind of like a a lot of places don't do that but if it, the basis of it is Kahlua Bailey's and vodka but some of them they'll do almost like it's kind of like a it looks like, like an a, ice cream swirl yeah like, ice cream freeze like freeze fudge thing. it looks like fudge like frappe yeah. Yeah, yeah but not I, all places do that just the base of that though it's very good it goes down very smooth yeah i can get behind that i we were hitting the mud slides earlier i i i love that I got no wish. I would take that too. I don't know outside of the five that I gave. I don't really know a whole lot of. I know a bunch. I know a bunch that I used to order when I went out when I was young in college. Because a lot of girls they don't like they don't like hard shots like I do. So you have you know you do you 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 have the Burt Reynolds. You have the broken down golf courts, China whites. There's a lot of different. Hey, stuff a couple ones do. that we both missed. Not that we missed, but like these were like those Jolly Ranchers. Shots. Those strong shots. That of sounds like, like it's How about like point. Joe? How about like Black House? Remember Black House? I didn't do that, but did you ever do the um? What was the or the Rumble Mint shot? Rumble Party One Fifty One. You ever oh, do that? Yeah, no, it's like, like an instantaneous yeah. gasoline no, no. shot. But you know, there. Here's my. Here's my. I, I'm gonna finish with this premise. If you're ordering a shot, because a lot of bartenders they call them different. You gotta know what the shot consists of. I haven't. You know, I don't know how many times people will go up and be like, try to order something with a bartender, and they don't know the base of the shots. Because I guess they call them different things, different places. So if you're ordering something, just know what you're having. You know, know what you're having, know what, if it's, especially if it's a concoction with sweetness and different, you know, different uh, mixes, you got to know what you're having. Fair enough. Know what you're ordering. Wise words there from Joey D. Um, ladies and gentlemen, week after week, you know the drill. You know, Bob, you got to give it. something honorable for the graphic. You got to give something. I, w I went with the mudslide. You went with the mudslide. Okay. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm um, sorry. That's on me. Week after week. Now, folks, we're on our way to the charts. We are on our way to the charts. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's keep the ball rolling here now. From the Dumb Show to the Moon, Joey D, Mikey V. I love you boys both, and we will see you back next week. That's another edition of the Dumb Show.